Hi everyone, it's Vicky Papayoanu here and today I have the pleasure to guess design for Altenew. Today I'm going to create a lovely flower card, perfect for any occasion, and for that I will be using one of my favorite die sets by Altenew, which is called Garden Picks 3D Die. This set creates a beautiful dimensional flowers and you don't have to stamp anything, you just stack layers one on top of the other. Now here I have cut out all the layers that I need for one flower and uh, instead of using colored cardstock I decided to go with white cardstock and I'm going to use my Altenew alcohol markers. From darkest to lightest, the colors that I decided to use are Cosmic Berry, Purple Wine, Puffy Heart and Rose Quartz. They all come from the same artist marker set, which is D. So I'm not doing any blending at all, I'm just going to completely cover up each and every layer with a different colored marker. I also like to round the brush of my marker all around the edge just to get rid of that white core of the cardstock. For the center of my flowers I'm uh, just coloring those tiny little pieces and for that I'm using warm sunshine and orange cream as the darker shade. And once everything is colored I'm ready to put my flower together. So all I'm doing is to add glue at the back of each piece and then stack all the layers one on top of the other. So the first layer is the darker and as I go towards the top you will see that uh, the layers become lighter and lighter. I think this technique creates a beautiful flower, it really looks dimensional with all those different colors and anyone can do it, it's super easy, plus if you get one of those sets you will be able to create lots of uh, cards with flowers which everybody loves and after all flowers are very versatile on top of a card so depending on the sentiment that you choose to stamp you can have a card for any occasion. I will repeat the same process to create two more flowers as I decided to go with three total flowers for my final card and here they are all ready to go. Instead of using uh, leaves from the same die set as the flowers I decided to go with this gorgeous stamp set. This is called Baroque Motifs and there are also available dies. Here is a look at the leaflet that comes with the stamp set so you can see how gorgeous these designs are and I love the fact that they are really big so they really make a statement on top of a card. Now I'm using my Misty and I'm going to stamp the largest of the designs. For that I'm using a green shade of ink, this is actually Firefly. I'm going to stamp the design a couple of times to get a good impression and then I'm going to use the matching dies to cut it out. Now imagine how gorgeous this would look as a background, you can stamp it with black ink and just stick uh, colorful flowers on top or if you stamp it and emboss it with uh, gold embossing powder, I think that would make a beautiful card as well. So anyway, for today's card I went with green and before I put everything together I'm going to stamp the sentiment, for that I went with thanks for everything. I have temporarily placed the green cutout on top of my card just to make sure that everything is going to fit nicely and now I can go ahead and put everything together. By the way this beautiful uh, sentiment comes from a lovely stamp set that I have used before and featured on my channel which is called Japanese Mom. Now if you follow my videos you know that I love dimension and I am completely incapable of keeping anything flat so I had to add some foam tape at the back to raise this uh, design and now I'm going to play around with the flowers, decide where I want them to go and stick them down. The panel that I have created is slightly smaller than the standard card so I am going to uh, use the darker of the markers that I used for my flowers and I'm going to go all around this four and a quarter by five and a half panel. This way when this dries it's going to match perfectly with the darker shade of the flowers and I will end up having a lovely border for my card. So here are some close-up photos on the card that I made. I hope you had fun and that you got inspired and thank you all so much for joining me today.